Elizabeth. Number one, there is a ton of just bad energy in that room. Hello, boys. Oh my gosh, that was clear as day. <laughs> and, and, and so I said, like, hey, get the hell out of here. What's up everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Second of all, welcome to Madison Seminary. Right here behind me, you see two very large buildings. I believe it's around 40,000 square feet that we have tonight all by ourselves. I've got my cameraman and editor Dylan here with me tonight. He is absolutely terrified out of his mind. We've been on a haunted road trip. It's starting to rain. There's supposed to be a thunderstorm later on tonight. All the mixes to draw up that spirit energy are happening tonight. That's the beautiful thing about what's going on. Behind me is the Civil War era building. Uh, this was the original building on property that they didn't had to add on. They kept reaching max capacity every single time that they would open up either the hospital or it was once a school. Um, it, it's mental asylum, like all of it. it. This place has got a ton of history and this place has a lot of stories. I could sit here out front for 25 minutes and tell you all the stories that we were told and that we had heard of but I'm not gonna take too much more of your time. Let's jump right into this video. It's gonna be a long one, probably a multi-part series. So if you would, slap a like on this video, please. It does not cost you a dime to do it. And also it tells the YouTube algorithm, says, hey, this video is liked by this person. Let's put more of these videos in front of them. So you'll get videos like mine and other similar that you may not know of. So that's the benefit of hitting that like button. So without further ado, Oh, let's go get the hell scared out of us, Dylan. This is going to be sketchy. I'm gonna have, have a heart this attack. Entire building to ourselves. I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. Okay. Well. We're gonna head to the Civil War side where uh, right above us uh, we're I mean I know we're just jumping into this video but uh, right above us we're already hearing stuff um, it's very very strange I'm, I'm just gonna say like I'm not really sure what to expect tonight but from what I've heard uh, just from some other uh, people in the paranormal community that this this place it, like there's some people who can't There's some people who can't even make it all the way through the night Okay, that door's not opening If there's any spirits in here with us, I just want to let you know my name's CJ. I've got my uh, friend Dylan here with me tonight. We're both recording videos, if you don't mind, maybe uh, coming out and having a little bit of fun with us if possible. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, man. This is cool. This is so awesome. So this is people's like, uh, like occurrences that have happened here uh, on 618.11. Heard a little girl giggle in Sarah's room. Thumps, bang, shadows. This is so cool that people keep track of all this. So, um, 10.30, dog couldn't stop staring at corner in Sarah's room. I uh, have my friends may go in a scary room. This is crazy. This is really cool, though. So, for everybody who's wondering, um, the owner of this location has let us come in here and... Uh, just come in and, and film, see what's going on in here. I've got to say that he is one of the very, 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 very nicest people that I have personally ever come in contact with, much less that owns a spot like this and is generous enough to let people like myself and all of you watching this video if you wanted to come here and uh, investigate or explore. So I'm going to head up here to where... There is a lot of activity. My gosh, they went the stairs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was walking at an angle again. <laughs> so the third floor up here, this is um, 
basically where all the Victorian furniture still is. Uh, this to me is awesome that they're trying to keep the originality. So there wasn't much spirit activity up here until they started putting the furniture back here in the rooms. Now, I think what a lot of that is, like sometimes you'll go to like one of these, um, you know, haunted locations and it's all gutted out. The spirits have nothing to remember like what was previously here before. So in my opinion, it kind of sucks. Imagine you, you spent your whole life here, you passed away here, or this place was special to you or you're trapped here and they take everything out from under you. You don't have a sense of home. It's just a, it's an empty shell that you're living in. So uh, to have all this Victorian aged furniture back in here, I commend them for that. So let me tell you a little bit about the, uh, the brief history of this place. This was where basically a lot of um, not only nurses and, and high class, like very dressed up women, like these were all of their rooms. So it was said at one time, um, there, was a, there was a mix of um, people who couldn't afford to live on their own. Uh, there was a mix of crazy people in here. There, it, was, it was a very, very odd place. Uh, kind of like I said in the beginning of the video, this was another one of these melting pot situations where they just put a bunch of people together. Now, it was said it was dominantly ruled by women. Now, what that means, there's a couple of different good and bad scenarios here. For every one guy, there was 35 women. This place was overcrowded all the time, but this was kind of like the elite's area around here. And as you can see, again, like I said, all the Victorian furniture is all still here. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, that the chair's got to be hauling and somebody died in that one and this one for sure has to be. I don't know why all of the, I don't know why all the old pictures look so weird. Is there anybody, uh, anybody in here that would like to show themselves or make a noise for us? Hello? Now I was told about a name, Elizabeth Style. I was told that uh, your spirit, this is your room here. I was told that you'll communicate with us. Is that true? Can you give me a sign? All right, I am, um, I'm going to set up a bunch of different things. Now, Elizabeth, that was her name, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I forgot already. All right, Elizabeth, I've got a couple of devices. I've got my REM pod right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. If you're to come up and touch that, that's what will happen. That thing will go off. It will let me know that you're here. I've also got my EMF meter here. I'm going to set this uh, right over here. So if you'd like to communicate with that, let me know. I've also got this really cool device. I don't know if you're into music, but it makes some music. I'm going to put it right there for you. So if you walk in front of it like this, it'll go off. Can I move this stuff off the bed? Is this real? Imagine just blow all the way through the ceiling. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to pay the deposit on that. I'm going to lay on your bed as well, okay? I've also got this gadget over here. Oh gosh. God, I'm going to bed. Oh. She won't come cuddle up with you. You're more than welcome to if you'd like to. My gosh, I'm sinking in this thing. I feel very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, no. What was that noise? What was that noise? Whoa! Jeez!
That thing just, I'm pretty sure that just went off. I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Something beat. We got too many gadgets going on. Yeah. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna do a spirit box session in here. I want to see if you'll communicate with me. Elizabeth, can you say your name to me? Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> Temperature going off already. Elizabeth, are you doing this? Can you tell me something? Were you a spy, yes or no? Were you a spy, yes or no? the video, um, Elizabeth was a spy for Abraham Lincoln uh, during the Civil War era. This was her actual room, a lot of history in here. Uh, I think what we're going to do, it's still early in the night, I'm just testing out everything. I brought all, all the gadgets here just to see if anything would pop off, anything would happen. Um, maybe an Elizabeth on the spirit box is what I heard, one of the first things that was kind of interesting. If I, I asked if it could say Elizabeth. It did sound like we got an Elizabeth on there, but none of the other devices have gone off so far. So we're going to keep on trekking on through. And there we go. I don't know. Let's put all our gadgets back up and let's keep on digging. to show you all there are a couple more rooms uh, again they're all dating back to around the times this is incredible man uh, I mean if I was a spirit and I was living in here this is one of the last places you know something like that but Curiosity, what the hell was that? Hello? Can you make that noise one more time? No, but I guarantee some might kill themselves up here. Jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. You have fun. I think I'm gonna fall through the floor. Dude, I'm hear it when I'm walking on it. 
Wow. I feel very weird up here, actually. Like, I don't feel comfortable, I can tell you that much. Really? Yeah, I just get a weird vibe. I don't know what it is. It's cold up here. Very. Man, what are the odds of that? I was just like, oh, it's just a bathroom. Oh, no, you know, I, that, you know what? My next house I build, I'm going to put the, the damn attic <laughs> entrance in the bathroom. <laughs> I, I just, I've never seen that before. That's new. So the next place that we're going to take all of you is the basement. Now, the basement... This is an area where a lot of bad things occurred. Now, at one point in time, the basement uh, was holding parties of uh, very pleasurable activities. But what happened was, is there was a ton of women that were kept down here and they were all prisoners. And inside of here is where they would be. Um, and the parties that they would have would be with some of the male people who stayed here. Uh, some worked, some didn't. But, um... That's just under the stairs. So, right in here is actually the room where all of this would take place. Now, there's... <sighs> I feel comfortable in this room. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, they would have like parties where they're, everybody's doing each other in here. I was literally kidding about that, but not about the parties, but about me feeling good in here. This actually feels honestly very weird to be in here, but um, we're gonna be doing some EVP sessions in here. We're gonna see if we can get anything to maybe answer us, and hopefully, just hopefully, we get something on camera. But anyway, they would keep uh, female prisoners um, down here and they would actually be free labor to the hospital and the mental asylum. So, uh, as, as strange as that is... <laughs> Dude, let's set these up. is creepy here. Then we'll go falling down. What is that lesson? these up. If there's a spirit here, you want to knock all these down for me? It's still early in the night. So this would have been the cafeteria area right through here. Dude, these chairs, they're older than you and I put together. Yeah. I love me a good piano. Okay, that don't work. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, but if we start hearing the piano playing later on, we got a problem. I don't even know how I just did that. That's creepy. Oh no. All right, so down here, this is something that um, we were told about. So Destination Fear, they have filmed here before. All right, and I'm gonna take you down to a room where a lot of police activity, cadaver dogs, everything were. So back when they were building this building, uh, it was rumored at first, it was just a rumor that uh, there, was affair go there was an affair going on in the previous building, the Civil War building, and that basically um, somebody caught feelings a little too much. Uh, the guy tried to get rid of the girl and it is assumed that she was buried under the concrete here in the basement. Now, the thing that contradicts that story a little bit is the affair was confirmed. I mean, this is actually confirmed that the affair happened. 
um, and this poor girl is missing. Well, when Destination Fear was here, they actually had a ground penetrating um, sonar team come in and try to see if they could figure out where this girl was possibly buried, if even at all. Well, they got to this one point right here and they found what would look to be like something in the shape uh, or the size of a football. Uh, and it, it looked like it was bone matter on the sonar. So the crazy part about all of this is Destination Fear called cadaver dogs out. They come right into the room, they get right here, and they sit down, they tap their paw twice, and they look at their handler, which simply means, hey, I'm stating to you that, hey, there's something around this area. So with that being said, they got permission from the owner, Adam, <clears throat> and he actually let them come in and dig this up a little bit because it was about two or three feet down. Had a big pile of dirt over here. They did not find anything. And it was almost like it was just like a very weird anomaly. Now, if you've ever looked at any of the ground penetrating sonar systems, they're accurate. They are very, very accurate. I mean, these are, these are expensive systems. I've looked into getting one before. I'm not buying it. But anyway, without any further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that nothing was found. But they had, they called the police. The police basically made this a crime scene really quick and brought in their dogs. They could not find anything either. And they, they went on their merry way. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, that story was confirmed. And I mean, the only place that they had found anything at all was basically in there um, with the sonar. So uh, it is said that her spirit roams around down here and uh, as we continue going up and up and up, and that's that's the dirt right there that they dug up. And as you can see, I mean, <laughs> there was a lot of dirt. When you start putting in buckets like that, I mean, that's 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 pretty big. This down here was also the laundry room as well. Are there any spirits in here with me? Oh, it's your, that was your foot. Where's this? Okay, that leads right back out to here. All right, so I'm gonna get to the juicy area. Next up, I'm gonna take you all, we're just, again, we're exploring, we're kind of feeling out the vibe. If anything, I kind of felt more of a vibe like where the, that was all dug out, so. Before we get too far into things, we're just gonna show you the entire building, but where we're gonna start, like a uh, lengthy investigation is gonna be up on the very top floor where the mental asylum was. Now there was also a murder-suicide that happened here. I think I told you all that in the beginning, but damn, this is crazy. What was that? Okay, it's something outside. It's like a raindrop hitting or something. I 
I get a vibe that a lot of like shady business deals happen at this desk. This is the room that the murder-suicide happened in. This was kind of like a little suite, like a family suite. Um, so that was the nicer like living room. This was more like a actual living room. And then right in here. Now, I don't know what's up with the scratches. There are speculations about what that was from. Just gonna, gonna leave that to you all in the comment section and let you all run wild with that one. But anyway, this right here is where the husband would sleep and then the wife would sleep in this bed right here and right across the hall was her daughter's room or their daughter's room i should say so what happened one night was there was a husband and wife they're staying in here obviously um, she gets up she walks into the very far living room all the way down there she comes back in with supposedly a uh, gun. She kisses her husband on the forehead, comes right here into her bed, wraps the gun up in sheets, and then proceeds to shoot herself in the heart. And no one living here at that time heard the gun go off. Now, I don't know how much you all know about firearms. I love them. I, I, I love them to death. I own a lot of them too. And I'm just telling you all right now that's not plausible. To, to hold a rifle and, and shoot yourself in the heart is one thing, but another thing for it to be wrapped up in a blanket and shoot yourself, I'm just not seeing that. But what is rumored, um, and what's the craziest part is, there is a confirmed story that says that this husband, before he married this woman, was previously married. Something happened to his wife and something happened to his daughter. And now something happens to his new wife. You can't tell me that foul play wasn't involved. But back in the early 1900s, all that the husband would have to tell the coroner is, hey, she shot herself. And it was okay. So the spirit of him is still here. The spirit of her is still here. And it is said that they try to play against each other. It's just a war of, of spirits here, basically. So the second floor is supposed to have a lot of haunted activity. I've got a little bit of battery left here on my camera, so I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna get out a new battery, and I'm also gonna set up some different devices. We're gonna leave Dylan's camera rolling in here, and we're gonna see if we can get anything to be picked up. So, see y'all in the next clip. Can you stop that? Can you stop moving, please? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Um, we're just gonna see how this plays out. We're gonna, we're gonna leave you alone in here, but we're gonna leave our camera in there, okay? Okay? <laughs> oh, bro. So I think the reason why that's going off in there is um, number one, there is a ton of just bad energy in that room is what we've been told. Tons and tons and tons of bad energy. I mean, you imagine like your husband or your wife kills you and their spirit remained here until they died as well. I mean, I'm just saying like, I'd be pretty pissed too. So.
is very bizarre, dude. I don't like this. Something is messing with that thing for sure. Yeah, I don't like that. going off like that. But it didn't go off any other time. We did it twice now. It's like, it, it's like, it's like, Can you walk back in front of that for me again? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. The headroom is active, dude. You want me to walk away? Bro. You want me to come back in? I'll leave you alone if you want. Or I'll come back in, how about that? Oh no. <laughs> As a confirmed, no, like, no, hey, no. get the hell out of here. Do you want me to leave? Walk back in front of that. I was like just about to go back in too. EMF is not spiking at all, nothing. Can you make that stop? Stop walking in front of that. I don't like this. Alright, I'm gonna turn that off for just a second, okay? I wanna try something here, alright? So I've got noise canceling headphones right here, and I'm going to go ahead and plug them into this SB11 Spirit Box. Now I just want to um, I want to try something here. All right, so I've got these noise canceling headphones on right now. I've got the SB11. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this thing on. Dylan's going to go into the next room over here. I'm going to move this bag down just a bit, and I'm also going to get the uh, voice recorder out. Is there an SD card in this still? Should be. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set up this voice recorder right here as well, so all the questions that are gonna be asked when it goes through these headphones here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Golly day. You're so loud. Oh my. <laughs> Hang on, this is what it's gonna sound like. Shoo. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start recording now, all right? My friend Dylan's gonna ask questions, but we would like you to come up to, um, come up to me, around me, and, and possibly answer them, okay? I'm gonna go out here. Gosh, this thing's... Just uh, yell when you're ready. I'm gonna sit in this chair right here. Wait, what'd you say? So when you're ready, like you have it scanning, let me know. I'm gonna be sitting in this chair right out here, so I can right. see your responses. Yeah, that works. Gosh, I'm gonna be deaf. It's like I'm outside of an airplane. Uh, let me let me adjust my sweep rate real quick. All right. Woo! Golly, dead. All right, go ahead. If there is a spirit in here, what is your name? The people. Okay, there's some people in here. Where are your guys' names? Can you tell me your names?
The woman whose room CJ is in. Can you tell me what your name is? Uh, I, I couldn't make out what that said. The woman that's in that room. Did you hurt yourself? It sounded like turn off the lights. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. That's been going off the whole time. What has? The temperature thing. Has it really? Off and on. I All right. went it, in for it, it said turn off lights or something along those lines. Yeah, I know. So I just turned mine off and went in for it and I'm freaking out right now. Golly day. It's going to be terrible. I don't like this at all. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I don't like this. This, this is nuts. This is stupid. Are we going to restart with the first question? Uh, now that it's lights out, maybe it was scared? Dude, I am shitting myself right now. Yeah, I don't like this one bit. Like, honestly. I feel like something's just, like, staring at me. I feel like there's something behind me. Like, I keep looking behind me like this. Like, I feel like there's something behind me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going back in. All right, I'm going to restart the first question now because since it says turn off the lights, then I get scared. Okay, go ahead and ask. If there's a spirit in here with us right now, can you tell me your name? It's done. Help me. Help you what? What do you need help with? Skeleton. 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 Okay, that comes with death. Were you, did you hurt yourself in that room or were you murdered? The spirit that's in that room with CJ, did you hurt yourself? I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, okay, you're dead. Was it a suicide or did your husband murder you? Get back on the road. I heard a story about the man who you were married to went with his daughter and his daughter ran out to the road and got hit. Is that what you're referring to? Home. Home? Okay, okay. Was this your home? Do you want us to leave you alone? Hallway. hallway. Are you in the hallway right now? In the shower. In the shower. Okay. 
You're in the shower right now. Did something happen in the shower? Hello boys! Oh my gosh, that was clear as day! Can you see us right now? <sighs> ah! Dylan, turn on the light! Dylan, turn on the light, turn on the light, turn on the light!